sometimes the things that we do with certain intentions behind it will in turn have adverse effects. I'm talking about the people who really thought they were really moving like this. This is crazy, right? People were really moving like if they sent evil eye your way that everybody would turn against you or that everything would not work out for you. People thought that maybe if they ostracized you, that maybe you'd be left alone. Maybe you'd be rejected time and time again. Nobody would want to work with you. Nobody would want to be with you. Nobody would want to be your friend, be associated with you, feel disgusted to even know you, right? The, these people kind of thought like if they had a hand in that, if they had a hand in deciding how you were going to be perceived, how you were going to be loved, how you were going to be appreciated, that it would destroy your spirit. But in the end, all that happened here, right, was that these people actually made you famous and generated interest for you. It didn't work out in the ways that they thought, and it very rarely does. When you try so hard to have people sad and depressed and making people feel bad about themselves, and that's what you do, that's your daily regimen, that's your cup of joe, that's all you care about, that's what you do. If this is what you do and this is the route that you continue to take, it's not going to work because what you're doing here inadvertently, they're doing this in a way where that's not their goal. Their goal is to do the opposite, to hurt, to destroy, to maim you, to destroy your mind, to make you insecure about yourself. And in the end, it isn't working this way. They've generated interest for you. All right. They have people talking about you even when what they were trying to do was people was to get people to not talk about you, to get people to leave you alone, to get people to stay away from you. They made you famous. They made you famous. We're not talking about the level of famous that we see in the media with these celebrities and all this type of junk. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about that sort of famous or that sort of status. I'm talking about just you moving in your day to day life. And a lot of people are talking your name and wanting to know about you, right? Wanting to know about you, but it came from people wanting others to not want to know you, to not want to get to know you, to not want to learn what you're really about. It's really crazy how we will do things in this world sometimes that have certain intentions. You're expecting a certain set of outcomes and it doesn't work out that way. It's kind of funny how they made you famous. Sending you evil eye made you famous. Sending you evil eye, sending you those bad vibes. Yeah, they were bad vibes. You know, a lot of times these people move weird. Like they move grimy. They move dirty. You know, they don't move right. You know, when they're trying to live their lives day to day, hating, watching, lurking, making up stories, telling tall tales, they'll do a lot for a little. You understand what I'm saying? And then in the end, it doesn't work out. In the end, it works in your favor. All the lies that they spread work in your favor, don't they? Because the bottom line is it was supposed to destroy you. And all it did was generate interest. Now people want to know if it's true or not. Is this real? Did they really do that? That don't make no sense. You know what I mean? And people are going to start really, really digging deep into you. Wanting to know about you. Wanting to find out the truth about you. You know what I'm saying? And this is what is called an adverse effect. These haters made you famous, very well known. I mean, the whole purpose here was to get you to be unseen, not recognized, not appreciated, not hailed up. You know what I mean? Like this was the intention here. All of these intentions piled into one very evil plan and it did not work. It backfired. It blew up in their face. It was a boomerang. The energy and the evil eye and the lies and the rumors and the gossip and the nonsense and the mayhem and the chaos that they sent your way came right back to them. That's the nature of a boomerang. But as I said in a previous video, boomerangs are out of style. And the bottom line is when people decide to try to throw bad things your way, it's not going to work out for them. It's going to work out for you. People know you now because of the ill that was spoken on your name. The real will rise and the humble will be seen in their truest form, in their truest light. Despite the lies, can you imagine how triumphant you are? That even despite the lies, the deception, sometimes long-standing deception, where you felt like nobody would see you in the way that you really were. 
because there was so much negativity being spread about you or so much evil eye sent your way purposely to ostracize you, purposely to leave you feeling rejected, right? Oh, you're known. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. You are known around here. People know you. They know of you. They've heard about you. They've heard things, right? We heard that. I heard things, right? I heard. Yeah, they've heard things, right? And the reason why they've heard things is because your haters thought that if they spoke ill of you, they spoke badly to you, about you, to people who were very impartial, didn't even know nothing about you. They thought it was going to work out for them. And in the end, it worked out for you. You are very well known, very well known. And the thing about it is that you probably don't even seek to be. That's just what it is now. A lot of people search you up. Look you up and see if it's true, if it's not true. Understand that if you know you're true, if you know you're real, if you know you move right, if you know you do the right things, if you know that you're living your best life, let it be known in the comments, I'm living my best life. I really know who I am. I know who I am. Leave it in the comments. These people made you famous. You are known now. You are known and you're trying to not even be seen out here. It's crazy. Because these people thought that by talking your name in the most negative fashion, that it was going to have a really bad effect on you. It was going to hurt you. It was going to destroy you. Nah, that built you up. It built you up. I'm talking about all the way up, solid, cemented. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> they thought what you were going to just poof, disappear like a magic trick. You know, pull it out of a hat. That's not how it works in this world. God chose you to be the standout. God chose you to be the one. To show people out here how it gets done, how it really goes. You're the one that was selected to do it. Yeah, people are going to be pressed by you. They made you famous though. They made you well known. People know you, want to know about you, want to ask, want to hit you up. You understand? This is what it is. I'm telling you, keep going up. Keep going up. Keep your head up, everybody. Keep your head all the way up. Don't let nobody trouble you out here. You're not supposed to be pressed out here by nobody if anybody wants to press you let these people take it up with god god's the person that put god's the one that puts you in this position you understand so if people are upset about you and try to hurt you and destroy you tell them to take it up with the most high because he is the one who put you in this newfound spirit he's the one that rejuvenated your life these people thought by destroying you by way of words or actions vilifying statements all these things that we know they do they thought it was gonna hurt you nah it built you up all right keep your head up everybody